Hello learners. In this lecture, we will see the user interface of a ETAB software, right? So once you open the ETAB software, this is how it looks. The first option what you have is a use saved user default settings. The second is a use settings from a model file. And then we have use built in settings with. So the first option is of no use to us. We are left with two options that is use settings from a model file and use built in settings with. Right now, we'll not go with the second option also. I'll take you to the third option that is use built in settings with, right? So I'll click on that. So this second option, what we have, this is usually used when we have already a model file ready with us and we want to make use of the same uh, sections or the same uh, materials what we have given. In that case, this particular option will be useful to us. As of now, it's the first time that we are creating a model. So what I'm going to do, I'll go with the third option. The moment you click on this, there are four options what you can see here. First is about the display units. So we usually follow metric SI units. That is, we want it in terms of uh, mm, uh, in terms of millimeter. So that is the reason I go with this metric SI unit. Just in case, if you want to use feet and inches, then you can go with US customary, right? Yeah. Now coming to the steel section database. So there are a lot of steel section database based on the American code, based on the Chinese code, based on the uh, British code, based on the Australian New Zealand code. So right now I'll be picking up the Indian code book. So I'll go with the Indian. If you are from some other country, you can make use of your own code book, like the Euro code book, the Korean, the Nordic, the Russian and so on. I'll take the Indian. Now coming to the steel design code book, again, it's the same thing here. Again, in India, we make use of Indian standard 800 2007 code book. So that is the reason I'm taking this. And if, if you belong to some other country and, and you can see your own uh, country's code book, you can pick it up like Italian, Italian NTC 2018. Then we have Korean bureau code. We have New Zealand code book and so on. So I'll take IS 800 2007 coming to the concrete design code again. ACI stands for American Concrete Institute, BS stands for British Standards, Hong Kong and IS456 for Indian Standard. Then we have Korean Bureau Code and Singapore. We have New Zealand, we have uh, Russian, that is SP63 and so on. So I'll be taking Indian code book, that is Indian Standard 456-2000. I'll click on that and I'll say OK to that, right? So once I'm done with that, this is a kind of a uh, window that is pop popping up. What I can see is a grid dimension here. I can see the custom grid spacing here. I can see uh, see the story dimensions here. And then I have this custom story data. And then I have this add structural objects. We'll try to see them one by one. Now you can see the uh, this thing units here. It, it has come in feet, right? So what is the reason behind that? Because we had taken US customary. That is the reason it is coming in feet and inches. Just in case if I cancel this and if I go to file new model and this time use built in settings with instead of US customary, let me make use of metric SI and I'll say, okay, now it will be in terms of meter. So it, it's up to you how you want to take it right now. Let me go with meter only, right? Yeah. Now coming to this point, what is this grid dimensions, right? So whenever we model anything, let us consider I'm creating a small plan here. Okay. This is a plan what I have. And let me try to create some grid lines here. These are the grid lines what I'm trying to create. Yeah. And let me name them as well. So this grid line, what I have is a grid line. This is my B grid line. This is C grid line and this is D grid line. And let us go with this. Way. This is grid line one. This is grid line two. Uh, this is grid line three and this is grid line four, right? And now let us give some spacing between them. I'm taking some arbitrary values. Let us say the distance between A grid line and B grid line is, let us say it's two meter. Let us say the distance between C, B and C grid line is, let us say it's 3.5 meter. Let us say the grid line distance between C and D is, let us say it is five meter, right? And now coming to this position, okay. Uh, let us say the distance between one and two grid line is something, uh, let us say it is three meter. From two to three, it is, let us say, some four meter. And from three to four, let us say it is another 3.5 meter, right? Now it's asking us, first it is asking us whether it's a uniform grid spacing or you're doing a custom grid spacing. Okay, so let me do a uniform grid spacing as well. Right now, the meaning of uniform grid spacing is that 
the center to center distance between all the grid line if it is equal let us say this is 2 meter and if this was also 2 meter and if this was also 2 meter and let us say this is 3 meter and if and if this was also 3 meter and if this was also 3 meter if everywhere the grid line was 3 meter or 2 meter equal then we could have made use of this option called uniform grid spacing right now they are not equal right so in that case we have to go to this option called as custom grid spacing but anyhow let me create one more a grid line quickly here i'll take only another one minute to finish it off okay and let's say i have created uh, 1 2 3 and i have created 1 2 3 grid line let us say this is 2 meter 2 meter 2 meter and let us say this is 3 meter and this is 3 meter i'll create one more grid line quickly and let us say this is also 3 meter okay these are the different grid lines what i have created now this becomes my uniform grid spacing right compared to this this is my uniform grid spacing now we'll try to understand what is written here the number of grid line in x direction always remember in the e tabs this is my x axis and the one which is in this direction it is my y axis and the this is in a plan i'm showing you okay this is in horizontal and this is uh, in the horizontal only this is in 2d plan and the z axis will be acting in upward direction along the height along the height it will be my z direction right now x is my right this one and this is my y so it's asking me number of grid lines in x direction so if i'm moving in this direction how many grid lines i have this is one this is second one right and this is third one and this is fourth one right i have four grid lines so that is why i have to input four here let me input four by default four will be there i'll input four again right now coming to grid lines in y direction now come to the y direction this is how you are going up y direction how many grid lines you have this is one this is two this is three and this is four again in y direction also i have four grid line i'll input four here now coming to spacing of grid in x direction so along the x direction what is the spacing you have i have 2 meter here i have 2 meter here i have 2 meter so i'll be inputting 2 meter here now coming to y direction spacing of grid in y direction so along the y direction what is the spacing you have i have 3 meter here i have 3 meter here i have 3 meter here so i'll be inputting 3 meter here right so once these things are done forget about all these things i'll say okay okay because i want to create a grid something like this and i'll say everything all the input have been done by me i'll say okay and then you can see the same grid line will be created here let us wait for a while yeah can you see this it was a 2 meter 2 meter and 2 meter and this was my 3 meter 3 meter let me do it let me bring it on the other side yeah yeah can you see the grid line that has been created 2 meter 2 meter 3 and 3 3 3 so this is a kind of a grid line that is created right now we'll try to create a grid line something like this so if i want to pre prepare a grid line something like this i have two option the first option is that instead of okay i'll go back to that file i'll say i want a new model to be created we'll say no to this i'll go to i'll quickly take that use built in i'll say okay to this and now this is of no use to us right but this grid line is no use to no is of no use to me i have to make a grid something like this so in that case i have to go option called custom grid spacing right and i'll say edit grid data and now you have to do all these things okay will quickly try to do now once you open up this you have two options one is display grid data has ordinates and then we have display grid data has spacing uh, give me a minute i'll quickly write down the spacing what i mentioned there and i'll try to clear it off otherwise it's a uh, it's not visible for the x we have 2 3.5 and 5 meter this is along the x direction and along the y direction in the bottom we have 3 meter we have 4 meter and 3.5 meter okay done okay now i'll erase everything okay yeah right i have something called display grid data as ordinates and then we have display grid data as spacing right so if you take a display grid data as ordinates then what will happen let me make use of this so let us say i'm taking this as my grid line again okay yeah let us say this is 2 meter this is 3 meter and this is 4 meter so here what will happen all the measurements will be done 
considering this as my origin right that means let us say this is a grid line this is b grid line this is c grid line this is d grid line now from a to b what is the distance we have 2 meter good now from a to c what is your distance from a to c what i need to do i need to add this this is 2 meter plus 3 meter it comes out to be 5 meter so from a to c a to c my distance will be 5 meter similarly from a to d what is the distance that is 2 meter plus 3 meter plus 4 meter <coughs> it comes out to be 4 plus 3 is 7 and 7 plus 2 is 9 that is i'll draw it here that is from a to d my distance will be 9 meter so in this way i need to do the input of that right i'll quickly tell you how to how that has to be done okay let us say this is 2 meter 3 meter and 4 meter similarly along the y direction also i'll try to add quickly let us say this is also 3 meter this is 4 meter and let us say this is 5 meter okay so if i want to start counting from here so from let us say this grid line is uh, grid line 1 this grid line is 2 and this grid line is 3 okay and this grid line is 4 yeah this is that fourth grid line yeah so now it's given here from grid line 1 to 2 what is the distance it is 3 meter right i'll write it as 3 meter from here now the distance from grid line 1 to 3 what is the distance so what you need to do you need to add this 3 meter and this 4 meter so 4 plus 3 is 7 meter so that will be 7 meter similarly what is the distance of the grid line 4 from 1 it will be 3 meter plus 4 meter plus 5 5 plus 4 is 9 and 9 plus 3 is 12 that is from here you have to take this as origin only and from here it will be 12 meter right so with this understanding we'll try to go with this option called display grid data as ordinates and we'll quickly try to enter them okay i'll take this thing the first always it will be zero we are trying to move along the x grid data try to remember this x grid data what we have done it's a 2 meter here 3 meter here and 4 meter here so first always it will be zero now coming to that so the first it is from a to b from a to b that is from a to b it is 2 meter i'll input 2 meter here now coming to b to next coming to this that is c grid so c grid how you have to take you have to start from here only so that is 2 plus 3 it comes out to be 5 right now coming to the d again this it will be 4 plus 3 plus 7 7 plus 2 is 9 so i'll input 9 here right so my x everything is done now coming to the y coming to the y always remember when we measure the y grid data we have to start from the bottom and for x grid data we go from left to right right i did not start from the right to left i was starting from the left and i was going towards the right whereas when you go for y grid data you have to start from the bottom and you have to go to the top so my bottom the first it is always zero coming to the second how much it is given here it is given 3 meter i'll input 3 meter here next from here i want to measure this distance so this is given as 4 meter so 4 plus 3 comes out to be 7 i'll be inputting 7 here right and the last one that is this one up to here i need to draw the grid line so it comes out to be how much 3 plus 4 is 7 and 7 plus 5 is 12 i'll say 12 here right so in this way all my grid lines have been created i'll say okay to this and i'll say okay to this and now you see the same grid line will be created here can you see the same grid line created here 2 meter 3 meter 4 meter we have two here we have three here we have four and from bottom we started with 3 meter we have three here we started 4 meter we have four here we started 5 meter and we have 5 meter so in this way you can make use of that option called uh, grid spacing and based on that you have to do it right and now i'll tell you the last method what we have again you don't have to go there there's an option called here see don't uh, get uh, you know frightened by looking at all the commands all these things are very simple as of now we are looking at it for the first time you may find it difficult but as time goes on we'll be able to understand all the commands in a better way so i'll go to edit and from edit there is option called edit stories and grid system right and now what i'm going to do I'll, there is a sub, something written called as grid systems go to the option called modify or show grid system click on that now again we landed on the same uh, window what we had opened now so far what we did we made use of this display grid data has ordinates now instead of this i'll go to the another option called display grid data has spacing i'll click on that and now what i'm going to do i don't have to do all this calculation of 2 plus 3 plus 4 directly whatever spacing is mentioned here i'll directly input that right 
So we'll begin with that. Again, I'll start from the X grid data. Again, I have to move from left to right. Now, first is how much it is written here? Two meter. So I'll be inputting two meter here. Okay. Now coming to this, what is written here? Three meter. So I'll be inputting. Anyhow, let me uh, remove that drawing. I'll try to draw a different drawing so that it will be easy. Okay. Give me a minute. Okay, let us say this is four meter. Let us say this is six meter. Let us say this is 10 meter. Let us say this is five meter. Let us say this is 6.5 meter. Let us say this is seven meter. Now we'll try to do that. Okay, now we have an understanding that this is my X. Okay, okay, we'll go with this. So my X spacing is what? The first spacing is four meter. I'll be inputting four meter here, done. The second, it is six meter here. So I'll be inputting six meter here. The third one, what is written here? 10 meter. So I'll be inputting 10 meter. After that, I don't have any grid line. That means the spacing is zero. If you don't have any grid line, that means there is no spacing. That means the, the spacing is zero. So at last I need to input zero. But whereas in display grid data, first grid itself, you, are, you, should, have, you, you, should, you should start from zero. But when you go with the display grid data, the last one you need to make it a zero, right? Now come into the Y grid data. So I can start from the bottom to the top. What is written here? Five meter, input five meter here. Next, what is written here? 6.5 meter, input 6.5 meter here, right? Next, what is written here? Seven meter, input seven meter here. And then we don't have any grid line after this. That means it is zero. So I'll click on zero. It's already zero there. And I'll say, okay to this. And I'll say, okay to this. Yeah, can you see that? The same grid lines have been created. Four meter, six meter, 10 meter, Again, five meter, 6.5 and seven meter. So in this way, you have to create a grid line. So I hope uh, these things are understood up to here. Uh, we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.